This video is sponsored by Prime Phonic. Okay, so now that the PCB is all populated, we can set this aside for a little bit and start working on the next big piece, which is gonna be the faceplate and putting all the hardware on that. This is the faceplate. What goes in here are potentiometers, which look like this, a uh, three-prong jack, and we also have switches. So we have a couple of toggle switches here that also uh, get put into the faceplate. Let me get started on that process, and then um, I'll come back when I've got all of the hardware in the faceplate. Okay, so after a lot of fiddling is what we have now. I didn't film a lot of it because a lot of it was really tight in here, but basically the idea is to get everything wired up like the diagram so that the uh, circuit board can fit on here and will mount on these corners here. The next thing that I need to do is get all of uh, the loose wires here connected up to all the switch points
and this is kind of the moment of truth. It's kind of exciting and terrifying at the same time. So uh, here goes the battery. Okay, there we go. Battery is in. I don't see any smoke. I'm going to turn the on switch um, and then we'll look for any smoke in three, two, one. Alright, I don't see any smoke and I do hear a little bit of sound coming out of uh, the speaker over here. So, cool. I think we did it. <laughs> now that we know that that works, we can lock this uh, board in place. While I'm attaching the PCB, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Primephonic. Primephonic is a streaming music service designed for classical music. They have a much better search engine for classical music, so you can find your music faster and easier. They also have music history podcasts, so you can learn more about the music you love. And we have a special offer for all of our viewers today. You get two months free when you use the voucher code ODDQUARTET when you sign up for Primephonic. This is a limited offer, so go sign up today and get two months of Primephonic free. The link will be in the description as well. All right, so I'm back at the bench, and this is our um, box that we're going to be putting the finished synthesizer in. It's just a uh, wooden box that has a hole in the bottom for uh, the speaker. That way we can hear it when it's uh, being powered, and it also has uh, some mounting holes on the front side that match up with the mounting holes on the faceplate over here. And these mounting holes have a, um, a threaded insert in them, so they look like this. Uh, they have these large threads on the outside, and they also have an inside thread so that you can put these smaller M3 screws in it, and you can mount it like that. Let me get the faceplate and all the electronics in here. Uh, get the battery in there and then power it up and see what it sounds like.